What's going on YouTube? It's Twig, and I am back bringing you guys the next episode in our Dark Souls 3 walkthrough series. Um, as you can see, we're picking up right where we left off last time. Um, so, the next boss that we fight is probably going to be out of the order that most of you guys, if you've played the game already and beat all the boss, or just played through the game in general, not even completed like all boss, um, this isn't probably the way that you would play through it, because I'm not sure... Too many people, if too many people know about the, uh, how to face Dancer, the Dancer of the Boral Valley early, but, um, we don't have any SS shards, um, we, I don't think we need to, uh, we can't upgrade yet. Actually, how many chunks do we need to upgrade? I can't remember the second, is it four? Four, right? Yeah. All right. We might need to, we can't buy Dark Pine Resin because we can't apply it to the Butcher's Knife, but that doesn't really matter. Usually for the Dancer you want to buy, we could get the Undead Legion armor. Whew. I'm kind of tempted. But we'll, we'll, we'll put our souls all into, um, into leveling up right now. But, um, yeah, the Dancer's weakness is Dark Pine Resin. I think it's called, like, Human or something in this. But... Ooh. We need to do some endurance as well. Let's go ahead and do that. See how much our butcher's knife does. We're gonna do a ton of damage if I. I may, I'm tempted to pop the boss souls, guys. Literally, like. What? We're doing 296? If I were to pop the boss souls and put it. Oh man, I'm tempted. But, um. We're going to fight Dancer early, so. No undead bone shards. So I'll show you guys how to do it if you haven't um, done it that way yet. Usually you would go right now and um, kill Pontiff, which we haven't seen Pontiff yet, but he's in that um, that snowy castle area. We kill Pontiff and then we go on and kill the next Lord of Cinder, which is Aldrich. Um, and then you, uh, kill Dancer. But, um, in our case, we're going to do it a little bit out of the ordinary. We're going to go ahead and go back to the lady who we got the, we obtained the, um, Lothric banner from, like in episode two, I believe. Yeah. When we face Vort, we're going to go back to that lady and you see kind of how, um, the, the sun and stuff's going to change, just like in Dark Souls uh, 1 when you killed the, um, I believe, Gwendolyn, right? The the whole atmosphere of Lothric is going to change, but you can come over here and... Um, oh, sorry. Oh, we got the Way of the Blue Coven, and good thing I didn't uh, kill her before that, but my email went off. That little... I think you, you guys can hear the little bird tweeting, but, um, so we got the way of the blue covenant. So talk to her before you do it. Um, if you're, you're wanting to, uh, get the way of the blue covenant, but you just come and kill her. Oh crap. I think I need to, we get the basin of vows and real quick, we need to equip some armor and then we're going to bring the basin of vows. Normally, you would get that right after killing Aldrich, I believe. That's the way I did it in my first playthrough. But then you bring it over here, and you face Dancer. Now, this fight was super, like, the frame rate sucked really bad on my, um... And you don't want her to grab you, but... The frame rate sucked really bad on Xbox One on my, on my playthroughs. Dang, she can do some damage, though. And she grabbed me. <clears throat> and it didn't kill us? I was, I was sitting back, I was for sure thought we were gonna die right there. There we go. I for sure thought we were gonna die on when she grabbed this. Because her grab attack is super... Like, you have to have a ton of health for her not to kill you on a grab attack, but... We have put a crap ton into Vigor. 
That kind of sucks. I just missed on the roll. It's good to have a lot of stamina. I probably should have been putting more into stamina and not really worried about my health very much up until now. But, either way, it's all good. We're just right here. That sucks. I really didn't want to give her uh, one of my one of my deaths. So let's head back in there and get her. She grabbed me again? I thought I was out of there, man. She's probably gonna do the fire burst attack and kill us again. This is not looking good. Usually I kill her fairly easy. I think it, the swing takes a lot longer on the pitcher's knife. So now she's starting her next phase where she does the dual swords. That's a little window for you to, to whack her a little bit. Whoa, whoa. Oh my gosh, another death to her, guys? This is my bad, man. Oh my gosh. She's not really that hard. I was looking at the time in OBS to see how long this was actually going to take. And now I've died twice to her. Maybe one-handing would be better? I don't know. I might try one-handing it for the first half of the fight. Is it? Like, I don't know if I'm not recovering from the... Uh, and that doesn't help any. I don't know if I'm not recovering from the... The two swings that I get in. I probably should have put more into endurance, to be honest. She almost got me right there. Oh my gosh, this is not going good. That has some reach on it. I probably need to get an ember ready. Let's go ahead and use one. Right. I think this staggers are more. Two in and it staggers more. I don't know if it pays off endurance wise, but it. I wish that would have got a stagger on. Stagger, man. I'm sorry guys, I'm concentrating a little bit more on this fight. I don't really want to die again. It shouldn't be this hard. Like, a, what in the... Like, she just catches me off guard sometimes. Oh no. I saw that coming.
I was about to say, if she hits me through the freaking column. And she's never done that attack for me. Oh my gosh. Stagger man. Oh my gosh, guys. Did I get her to the same health as last time? This is terrible. So three deaths to Dancer. Just goes to show, you never know if a cake, uh, an enemy is going to be super piece of cake or not. I mean... <sighs> I'm ready to get this fight over with. Oh man, I thought we were going to actually be able to move on and do the next portion of the game in this episode. But if I keep all three deaths... This is the third death, right? If I keep all three deaths in here, this is... Oh, we're getting some frame rate issues. Um, and this will actually be sort of a long video. That, it's terrible. I'm so disappointed. At least this is practice, because... <laughs> There's the swing. She hit me from behind there? Alright, here we go. I want to stagger. Oh, I wish I could have hit it right there. Alright, refill a little. What? Oh my gosh. Oh no. I for sure thought we were getting nailed by that. I, I'm gonna top off so I get the ex extra damage here. There we oh no, and I rolled away! That was some valuable time. There we go. Gosh dang, that was harder than what I thought. Well, Tensor of the Boral Valley trophy, sweet. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, since it's 13 minutes in, longer than what I expected, I'm gonna go ahead and run through this area real quick. So we place the base in here, and what it does is, uh, it turns Lothric a different color outside, I believe, and then lowers the, um, ladder for us to get up. So, I'm sorry for dying those, those couple times, guys, but I, I really didn't think Dancer was gonna be that big of a challenge, to be honest with you. But it's good that I practice her, because uh, the more I play through the game, the more I learn. And hopefully next time will be even a better fight for me. Oh crap, and I don't want to get stuck right here. So I'm just going to draw this dude back out. Terrible. If, you ca if he, he catches you in the uh, doorway... That can be freaking horrendous. I believe only this one follows you. Gosh, dang. I want to pair this guy so bad. What damage is that? I mean, alright damage, but still. Ooh, man. And I think he might drop... Sweet, a large shard. Um, so this is kind of a shortcut area to the next 
area of the game. I'll just show you real quick. You come out here, drop down, and then this is basically where we went up the uh, ladder just a second ago after we placed the basin. And then that way leads to an optional boss. So um, let's just go back down and we might do that optional boss next episode. I'm not sure. So we'll definitely spend these souls though. So stay tuned guys. Um, Dancer actually gave me quite a bit of a challenge. Um, I didn't really didn't think she was going to be that bad. But hey, um, I learned some new stuff. And I thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed, please hit the like button. And stay tuned for the next episode. Peace out.